All right, so I saved enough money to actually be able to do a day two haul. So check it out. Let's hit that bumper real quick, and I'll show you what I got. Hey, what's going on, you wonderful weirdos? Welcome back to my day two haul from Heroes Con. I want to show you what I kind of picked up today, and then uh, tell you what's in the works. Um, so today's main focus was just whatever I just felt like buying, really spending the last little bit of my cash on the second day so what we got is a lot of first issues on this one this is uh, shade the changeling man number one this is kind of an obscure comic book i've never heard of it before so i figured why not uh, some of you may recognize this next one the shadow number one dc yeah good stuff there uh, next, uh, Doc Savage, the man of bronze. You know, I'm always casting things over at my Evil Layer channel, and bronze is one of the things I can cast, so I was just like, yeah, yeah, I think I need that. Uh, next, Phantom Stranger. I know I have a couple of copies of this. This is one of those guilty pleasures that I can't help but buy all the time. Like, anytime I see this, I buy it. It's a weird thing. Uh, next, Red Tornado, number one. You know, the cyborg. Red, or not cyborg, I guess he's really just a robot that can spin around really fast. There's his first uh, run, his first issue run. To go with my 80s collection, Conan the Barbarian, the movie special, number one. Pick that up. Uh, Sentry, number one. I had the other cover to this. I didn't have this cover, so I'll go ahead and pick this one up. And uh, next for the first issues, I got The Toxic Avenger, number one. I had this a long time ago. I think I threw it in an auction or something like that. I think it was just time to put it back into my collection so I can get rid of it again in the future, I guess, maybe. I don't know. All right, some independent books that I picked up this week. Uh, the first one is The Celestial Knight. This gentleman asked me to actually read it and review it on this channel, so we're going to give that a read, and then we'll review it. Uh, next is Grit by Slate Comics. I believe these guys are out of Australia. And The Monsters Cleanup Guy. I think I kind of know where this is going from the title, but I definitely want to check that out. Love supporting independent artists, so we'll definitely check those out. And I picked up some Golden Ages today. Uh, first one is Marmaduke Monk. Uh, it's kind of like a precursor to Looney Tunes. Well, like a subtle of them are, actually. And then this one I picked up because it's kind of unique. Um, it's actually a Looney Tunes, Merry Melodies. But what it is, is in, in what he's holding there is an advertisement for the war bonds. And so it's a war bond issue, if you will. Uh, I'm not going to go into reading the whole thing. Basically, it starts off to the effect of your sons, your husbands, your brothers who are standing uh, today upon the great divide. Uh, it's, it's great stuff. So, yeah, buy another war bond. Yeah, it was cool. It was a pretty nostalgic feeling. And it's a very heartfelt note on there from federal government. Um, all right, some other things that I picked up. This gentleman was doing these kind of card. Uh, and he also had them in prints, too. And basically, it's just superheroes and villains with some, you know, the, the things that kind of equate to them in some way, shape, or form. Um, there's a whole stack of them here. There's like 75 of them. All kinds of cool ones, both mostly heroes, a couple of villains in there. I do like that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, some of my favorite ones. I couldn't make up my mind which ones to get, so I just, I was like, I just bought the stock. I thought they would make great, like, you know, something to throw in a mystery box with somebody, you know, with a thank you on it or something along those lines. So that was really cool. Uh, my wife picked some stuff up, and she doesn't really do any of this stuff. So, yeah, lots of little advertisements for people um studio 71 this was these cats were smart so what they would do is if you bought a frame or i'm sorry if you bought a print they would frame it on the spot for you for like a pretty fair price too and they do like custom framing too through their shop uh, a lot of stuff like that uh, various business zombie snot apparently something with uh, hair coloring or something it was thought it was a cool sticker and then uh, Cheap Joe's Art and Stuff, right? So, yeah, when I pick that up, uh, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of cool stuff. A lot of good stuff. It's been very fun. So, we're going to be uh, meeting up with the guys over at the Westin. Apparently, there's some Comic Con related stuff going on over there. So, we're going to eat first and then probably end tonight with the, you know, the libation and a cigar. 
So <laughs> definitely keep your eyes open on Instagram. Uh, a bunch of us are out here. Uh, I'm sure we'll be, we've been posting all day. So I uh, hope to talk to you all soon. Take it easy. Bye.